Hey you guys, welcome back to another edition of WWE Sitcad. I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell, and in today's episode, we're going to have PvP rewards. I managed to get four slots, I didn't get five slots. I was 2,000 points away from it, there's half hour left, and I didn't have ads, so there's no point in even attempting to go for it. Because I'd obviously have to wait around for a good while to get it. I did manage to finish second in my PvP league, so up to 4.7k. Super coins, so I've got of course lots and PvP packs. I'm not expecting anything good from these. This is like dust. Let's see what we, go. we have Samsung 20 Eric, Samsung 20 Bailey, and a Brain Mechanical Optimal Warrior. I believe I probably got them already. Yes, I have. Then we've got the PvP Plus pack. I may try and go for five slots this week because obviously that LMS can be grinding in EC as well to get. Uh, Blocks and Reviews, we get Behemoth from here. Hopefully, it's a female. I finally get Candice LeRae, which I've been waiting to get for ages. I'm sure I've been for already. We get Behemoth, Kyle O'Reilly, Biomechanical Buck Tee, and Biomechanical Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm not, I, I'm not sure. I can't, I can't remember getting Candice. I must have gotten her at some point. Yeah, I can buy him about no. That's why you need Candice Lurie for the foundation set. And I see that they did, and no one's actually noticed. But I'm pretty sure you do. Let's go to clutch. Unless I've changed the way you can this without realising. Um, as I said, I'm pretty sure you'd be good. Yeah. I'm not missing no one. So why can't I click? Uh, I'll turn it off camera since it's only this one card anyway. So, uh, Team ID, we were a couple of shards shy of the behemoth. Scott Hall was a promised second account, but got, got, got a carrying cross pro from the. Uh, Puzzler, uh, which obviously was on last night. But no Puzzler plays with Ruger Ring. Shout out to him, but Adam plays by team, 26 shots. I managed to get 22. But Owen pinned over 20. I managed to get 17 in a second. But Renault beat 15. Regular fire 14. Crispy Crease card with 12. Tom Phillips 11. Drake got 10. Dev with 7. Sack with 7. Rated Dan with 6. Tull with 5. Fury with 5. I heard of 5. But I heard in. We have a Sati G, but Jamie a fit three four, Michael four and Curtis and then he will be getting kicked off after the team event. So yeah, obviously we do have the Stone Cold Steve Austin cards out now to an event. So for this one you need eight snake cards, which you can then fuse into ATP cards. And you have also got Stone Cold Rivals one pack and the second one, which this one you need four snakes. Which then gives you elemental to some some might be elemental. So obviously, green and high tiers, you don't need those. And then this one, three snakes, one ATV, which gives you one behemoth, one resume if it's six to a behemoth. The bottom line, which is four snakes, four ATVs, which give you, which contains two four and two. Uh, potential of Samsung 19 all the way up to Stone Crow. So obviously some people may go first because it gives them a chance of getting two of them which is obviously highly highly unlikely or and then got the Stone Crow said so pack which you need eight ATVs which gives you which I me personally I'm probably gonna go for this one because it's the chance of a behemoth to run rumble twenty one obviously if you run rumble twenty one tier and it also contains I I thought I said chance it contains one from uh, Ultimate, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Throwback, Halloween, Goliath, Stone Cold, which I've never actually gotten that image. The Hall of Fame, Resume 35, which again, didn't have that image, that's a really good image of him. And obviously the Samsung 20, Bathrooms Austin, and then even one of the new Austin Cards, Rumble 21, Austin there, and obviously the one with the ATV at the front. So, yeah, I just pretty much said, I need to even done any gameplay. 
uh, today, obviously, there's a puzzle yesterday. Today, it is rule the ring, which is 200 credits to uh, do. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the best uh, packs they've actually ever done. 200 credits, okay, got to get to ring 106, we're going to get to that. We have two packs, got to get them. And then after you've got them, you guarantee, well, you need to get at least one of them. Then we need to get down, down to this card. Get free shot, free uh, maximum free opt, uh, free goes. Uh, you've got to find the right way it turns. If you've already used it, then it's like an X and you fail. And then get go back into it. It seems like it's unlimited amount. Which, if we go here, as you can see, I did decide to do it and did get the pro of it, which, as well, this one does have overrun, which is going to be great. And just looking at this card, this one card, I look at and I smile, I'm like really happy to get And it's probably going to be one card that's going to stay a long, long time in my collection. So, yeah, one pro I'm happy to get. I'm surprised when I managed to get it within like the first hour. I managed to get the problem first hour and it didn't cost that much credits to do so either which got me and a lot of other people thinking how was it so cheap to get the Royal Rumble 21 pro, not just Royal Rumble 21 Pro but a limited edition, well not limited edition, special edition card especially the first day obviously if, it's, if it was later on down the line I understand but and like uh, I know a lot of people say the new tiers in a couple of weeks but still, and obviously they say oh, but there's no point in getting it it's the new tiers in a couple of weeks but it's a special card and even that image for me is brilliant I will probably actually keep that image on him unless uh, uh, I might change if I was to get the recipe for the free throwback which uh, that card was the main one up to I wanted just like the taker one someone did the bike uh, one match get uh, both obviously got the pro of the 25 anniversary taker and then the single of the bike one but got the pro of the bike one from the uh, Superstore packs uh, December January time I think it was so if I can't get a pro of this one as well then I'm great if I don't then I'm not too bothered and before I get an F3 and then, uh, what, 45, 1, 2, or 3 have uh, the ATV one, which if I did, I'd be happy because it would be okay. And use this move, I'm not sure if I need to use that as a challenge. And obviously, if it's been all PvP now, it'll take a lot longer to speed up. I am trying to save up my uh, super coins for my backlash in that late date. Last time, and I will touch on this uh, in a previous video, but last time actually. Cash in for a money back card was Titan Tier, which was obviously, obviously back in season 4, which means 3 years ago. It's the last time I cashed in on the card. It was a Survivor Series Finn Balor card. It was Finn Balor or Triple H. And at that time, I was a massive Finn Balor fan. I probably at the time was my favourite. So I did cash in for it. And I, I find this is quite cool. I know they've done it, they've done it a few times before where obviously they changed the draft board. Uh, to suit them to the themed event they've got going on. I'm sure it's pretty cool that they change it, obviously, two skulls. I am hoping I get a pull soon. I'm not too sure how far off I am, because I think I get a pull Sunday, but I think I was, when I was on uh, Godfather, I got that, or maybe even the upgrade. So since then, I've done at least three, six more shards, things like 22, 23 in Team Addy. And however many more I've had in PvP, so I could be doing a reset. As I said, but I'm not too sure. So obviously that is the annoying thing when you're playing PvP. To obviously do lower the draft board, and you keep getting resets as you get towards the end of the draft board. There is a pain in the backside. I lost count, especially today. You know, the times I got towards the end of the draft board as I'm getting ready to back out, then go into an RD boat, I get a reset. I'm like, for God's sakes. So let me know down below if you're going to attempt the... I can't remember the name of the pack. At the 200 credit pack, I'll just call it. Um, for the Stone Coast of Austin card. If you already have, let me know what you've got. I know a few people have done it and they did get uh, at least a pro of the Austin card. I'm not going to do any more. I got the pro, I'm happy with the pro. I was considering to stop after the single 
second, but then if I have to hang on, let's go for the pro. We've been a special edition card, and obviously been Austin. And I watched uh, Xavier Woods up, 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 up down down video earlier with Damian Priest where they show off. I uh, was showing off the Austin cards, and you pro then showed the pro animation. The pro animation does look amazing on the card. So the ATV, the wheels spinning around and everything. And it is, it is pretty cool how they can manage to get that on the card in all honesty. So let me know as well how you, your team uh, did in Team ID and also let me know if you are going for the last one standing card this week and who you think it is. I think it might be Bobby Lashley in all honesty because obviously he's recently won the W title. I did say that I reckon Lashley would even be the Team Ring Domination card or the LMS card, which I think if Lashley ain't the LMS card, then I think he'll definitely be the Team RTG War Games card. Which I'm kind of hoping he's not the War Games card because I do need to left out of a bank card uh, in my own between one tier. So that's going to be it for today, you guys. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below for more. As always, don't forget to take it easy. Peace.